so today we are going to solve examples on Euler's theorem so you can see what Euler's theorem says if u is the homogeneous function of x and y with the degree n then x do u upon do x plus y do u upon do y is equal to n u so I'm going to solve today these three examples so one by one we are going to solve this so write it down if u is equal to tan inverse x cube plus y cube divided by x minus y prove the following so you can see we are going to prove this Similarly, we have example 2 and example 3. So very, very important I'm going to discuss today. So please watch the video till the end. And if it is helpful and it is very, very easy to you to understand, please like and subscribe. Okay, so we'll take first u. So take u is equal to tan inverse x cube plus y cube divided by x plus y. So you can see very easily students that u I'm going to simplify. So tan inverse, I will bring it on left hand side so i'll just write this in the form of tan u is equal to x cube plus y cube divided by x plus y so just say that this function i want it as f so i say this as f so we can see very easily that from euler's theorem so please remember even in the homogeneous function how homogeneous functions are expressed homogeneous functions are expressed so i'll write here it is expressed as x raised to n phi of y upon x or it is also expressed as y raised to n phi of x divided by y so this is how the homogeneous functions are expressed uh, with degree n so you can see very easily n is the degree okay so let us simplify this first we'll try to find the what is the degree yes we'll be using this we can easily see in this here students that the highest power in the numerator is x cube so i'll just take out x cube so therefore you can see very easily f is equal to x cube then what will remain 1 plus y cube divided by x cube the whole divided by x 1 plus y divided by x yes students if you don't understand please rewind this video once again and watch carefully so x x will get cancelled here so it will become x square phi of y divided by x so one can easily see that this function is expressed in the form of homogeneous so we can see very easily that this is of degree its degree is n is equal to 2 so we say here degree is 2 so keeping this in mind we will solve the remaining things here friends so let me take the function now f f is our homogeneous function so we can see in the Euler's equation very easily you can find so using Euler's theorem just now I have, you know, I have defined the Euler's theorem so just substitute one by one so take just take this as x do f upon do x so write once again plus y do f upon do y is equal to it is n u but here you can see very easily I am going to take this sir, as u so therefore i'll write as 2f is it clear so now i'll substitute this so here i say f is now tan u so I'll call this as f is equal to tan u. okay i'll just substitute therefore very easily you'll get the answer students so i'll just substitute here wherever f is there i'm going to substitute as tan u plus y f as substituted as tan u which is equal to 2f so like this i'll simplify the next step you can see very easily this tan u differentiation you will get it as sex square u you will write into du by dx so x is our independent variable but here you can see u is a function of x y so you can you can see u is a function of x and y so therefore we can differentiate u with respect to f with respect to x and with respect to y so therefore i say this tan u differentiation will become sex where u into dou u by dou x plus y this is again sex square u now it we are differentiating with respect to y so we'll just take this as and this will be 2f what is f students yes it is tan u so i have taken f is equal to tan just i have substituted that value now what is common in this lhs it is sex square u that's the sex where you i will divide both sides 
by this x square u. So let me get what we get here, students. X do u upon do x plus y do u upon do y. Here, x square u, x square u will get cancelled, which is equal to two tan u divided by this x square u. Now I can see this tan u. I can write this as sine divided by cos. Am I right? So I'll write this as two sine u divided by cos u. But you can remember that x square u, x square u is nothing but it is cos square u. So therefore, one cos will get cancelled, and I will get this as two sine u cos u. So two sine u cos u is nothing but it is sine two u. So like this, we get the answer. Therefore, what we get here, friends, x do u upon do x plus y do u upon do y is equal to sine two u is true. So as you can see. In the beginning of the video lecture, I have discussed that this question has appeared in the previous question paper. So very very important. Easily you can simplify this example, students. Similarly, I will solve the next very important example that is if u is equal to sine. Take here sine inverse on this side will become sine u is equal to x square plus. Y square divided by x plus y. So now this I'm going to call this as f. So you can see in homogeneous function, always it is expressed as the functions are expressed as x raised to n phi of y divided by x. So I want to just express in this form and find the n. N is the degree from the homogeneous functions, and you can see in the Euler's function also we want to find the degree n. So here I'm going to take the function f is equal to x square. I will take it common from Numerator, so it will become, and from denominator I will remove x outside, so it will become, and where you can see one x will get cancelled, so this is expressed as x raised to one pi of y divided by x, where the degree everyone can see is one. So n is equal to I am going to take this one. When you set the degree immediately, you are going to use the Euler's theorem. So what Euler's theorem says, friends? Yes, it says that x do f upon do x plus y. Do f upon do y is equal to n u. So n is one. So therefore, this is one into u is f. So this is function I have taken f. Now I'll just substitute f. Therefore, I say f is equal to sine u. So let me take the sine u and then immediately simplify this example once. So watch the video till the end. Very easily, I'm going to simplify very fast. So this is x to sine u divided by do x. So please re remember here, friends, chain rule. U is a function of x, y, and I'm going to substitute your differentiate once again u with respect to x. So this is partial differentiation. Differentiation of uh, sine u is cos u into do u by do x plus y into differentiation of sine u is cos u into do u by. We are differentiating with respect to y, so therefore I'm going to take this as y, and this is the f. Please remember what is the f, students? It is sine u. Now you can see very easily that what is common in the LHS that is cos u. So I'll divide cos u on both sides. So therefore it will be x do u upon do x plus y do u upon do y is equal to sine u divided by cos u, which is equal to tan u. So I'm solving all the examples runs very easily. You can see I proved this and please see that you solve all the types of examples and. We are going to solve the next example. If you like this video, students, and it is helpful, please like and subscribe. And next question was asked in the previous exam. That is, this question was asked. And if you want this me to solve in the next video, I am going to solve this example. If this video gets like 50, definitely I will solve the next example. Thank you so much. Watching the video until the end.